Welcome to Ace My Exams Learning. Let us get started with today's learning. Economics Grade 11 Factors of Production Factors of production are the essential resources, also known as inputs, used in the creation of goods and services. These are the building blocks of any economic activity, and without them, production would not be possible. The four main factors of production are natural resources, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship. 1. Natural resources. Natural resources refer to the materials and substances that occur naturally in the environment and are utilized in the production process. These resources are often referred to as gifts of nature because they exist without human intervention. Natural resources are naturally occurring materials or substances, such as timber, fresh water, land, and minerals, that have economic value and are used as inputs in the production of goods and services. They are essential for meeting human needs and wants, either directly, like water for drinking, or indirectly, like minerals used in manufacturing. Since they are limited in supply and play a key role in economic activities, natural resources are vital for production, trade, and overall economic development. Renewable and non-renewable resources. Natural resources can be classified into two main categories based on their ability to replenish over time, renewable resources and non-renewable resources. Understanding the differences between these two types of resources is essential for managing them sustainably and ensuring long-term economic development. A. Renewable resources. Renewable resources are natural resources that can be replenished or regenerated naturally over time. This means that they can be used repeatedly without the risk of permanent depletion, provided they are managed responsibly. The key characteristic of renewable resources is their ability to regenerate through natural processes, making them sustainable for continuous use. Examples of renewable resources include oxygen, fresh water, solar energy, and biomass. Oxygen is continuously produced through the process of photosynthesis in plants, while fresh water is renewed through the natural water cycle, involving processes like evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. Solar energy is another prime example, as the sun provides a constant and virtually inexhaustible source of energy. Biomass, which includes organic materials like wood, agricultural crops, and animal waste, can also be replenished through agricultural and natural growth cycles. However, it's important to note that even renewable resources can become scarce if overused or mismanaged. For example, Deforestation can lead to the depletion of forests faster than they can regrow, and overextraction of groundwater can cause water shortages in certain areas. Therefore, sustainable management practices are crucial to maintaining the availability of renewable resources. B. Non-renewable resources. Non-renewable resources are natural resources that do not regenerate or renew themselves at a rate fast enough to keep up with human consumption. These resources were formed over millions of years through geological processes, and once they are extracted and used, they cannot be replaced within a human time frame. This makes them finite and exhaustible, which is a key concern for long-term sustainability. Examples of non-renewable resources include coal, natural gas, fossil fuels, and nuclear fuels like uranium. Coal and natural gas are fossil fuels formed from the remains of ancient plants and animals subjected to heat and pressure over millions of years. Once these fuels are burned for energy, they are gone forever. Nuclear fuels, such as uranium, are used in nuclear power plants to generate electricity, but their supply is limited and they cannot be naturally replenished once depleted. The reliance on non-renewable resources poses several economic, and environmental challenges. As these resources become scarcer, their extraction becomes more expensive, and competition for access can lead to economic conflicts. Additionally, the use of fossil fuels contributes significantly to environmental issues such as air pollution, climate change, and habitat destruction. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to subscribe and be the first to know when we upload new videos.